It's final. The Senate Electoral Tribunal, or SET, dismissed Francis Tolentino's electoral protest filed in 2016 against Senator Laila de Lima. Tolentino initially claimed that fraud and irregularities caused his defeat in the 2016 polls. The, SE the SET granted Tolentino's motion to voluntarily withdraw his poll protest so that he can focus on his campaign to run for Senate in the upcoming elections. The SET also granted Delima's motion to publicize the results of the recount proceedings covering 300,000 ballots from around 650 clustered precincts that had been examined by the tribunal. The results show that Delima won over Tolentino by over 1.3 million votes to take the last Senate seat in the 17th Congress. Vice President Lenny Robredo remains confident that she won in the 2016 elections fair and square. Speaking in Iloilo City on Wednesday, Robredo said the initial recount for the protest filed by her defeated rival Bongbong Marcos only affirmed her win. Robredo thanked Ilongos for their overwhelming support, pulling over half a million votes for her in 2016, whereas Marcos got less than 100,000 votes. Recall that Marcos included Iloilo in the three pilot provinces he chose to kick off his electoral protest. And Rappler is asking the Supreme Court to lift the ban on their presidential coverage. Rappler is challenging President Duterte's order to keep their correspondence from covering presidential events and activities. The online news site said this, the ban violates constitutional guarantees for press freedom, free speech, due process, and equal protection. President Rodrigo Duterte finally breaks his silence over his family's alleged ill-gotten wealth. At a campaign rally in Bacolod City, the president insisted that he will explain everything in due time. But the catch? Duterte says he will not reveal where he put the money.